David Daniel Ducker here, and today I'm going to be talking about romance, about how to write a, a romance storyline. Of course, our basic rules of writing do not change. We still have whatever structure that we feel comfortable with. I love three-act structure, so I'm pretty much always going to use that. We have our beginning, our middle, and our end. The beginning will have a beginning, middle, end. The middle will have a beginning, middle, and end. And the end will have a beginning, middle, and end. Every scene will have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Uh, so I like that fractal format where it just spirals out and spirals out and spirals out. And that's not going to change if it's a, a romance or an intrigue or an adventure or any other kind of story. But what I want to talk about is just romance in general. What is romance? How, you, how do you define a good romance psychologically, uh, socially? What is going to create this, this spark and then the lasting relationship between characters, between people? Your characters should just be people. They should be as deep as a real person. Uh, and to me... Uh, romance is built on on two things. It's uh, affection or attraction, same thing, and admiration or respect. The affection and the attraction is what's going to initiate initiate the situation. It's going to give you that spark. It's going to make you notice them like, ooh, you know, they're kind of cute or, or, oh, they're funny or, or they have a great singing voice or they're tall or they're stylish or whatever it is. That, that kind of gets the ball rolling. So you need to have that. You need to have that moment. As a storyteller, you need to show that moment. What's attractive about this other character that, that your point of view character will find attractive? Or what's attractive about your point of view character that your other character will find attractive? Maybe they start off uh, liking your point of view character and the point of view character is not really sure they have to build that attraction over time. That's a, that's a great story to tell. Uh, or they like the other person. And maybe the other person doesn't like them right away. And they, as a main character, have to build the attraction in the other person. That's a great story. Uh, my first novel that I'm, that I'm writing uh, has the two characters. Actually, there's a big spark and they hook up in the first act. And so there's a lot of attraction there and they're both attracted to each other. So they sleep together and then we see, uh, can they build something lasting or do they want to? In my story, they don't even want to. They just, they were perfectly happy with a one night stand and then they kind of catch feelings as they're forced to work together uh, over a longer term and as the respect for each other grows, uh, the romance and the attraction gets even stronger and stronger until they can't even deny it. Because that is the second aspect of lasting romance is respect and admiration. Because if you just have the spark and the attraction, the infatuation, uh, it can fade. You can have a one night stand or you can have a crush. Uh, or you can have a flirtation, and then it just goes away eventually. You get bored of them, you get tired of them, uh, they get bored of you, they get tired of you, or mutually. Uh, what you really need is the respect. So you have to ask yourself, what does this character respect? And what does this character respect in that other person? And if there is something there, then they can potentially build a longer term relationship. And if there's nothing there, it, it can't really be a long term relationship that, that's, that's healthy and successful and happy. It could be toxic with no respect, uh, but that's, uh, you know, that's something I think an advanced writer should be looking at. If you're uh, an advanced writer, you're probably not watching this video anyway. So for the novice writer coming in, you have two characters. You want them to get together in a, in a romantic way and either have it succeed or fail. And if you want it to fail, just say, you know, what do they not respect about each other? Maybe one character is very greedy uh, and they see somebody else who's also very greedy and they're like, oh yeah, like I respect greed. Greed is good. I'm Gordon Gecko. 
I, I love the money and they love the money and I love that they love what I love. So that can build a relationship. They might not be <laughs> the greatest people in our eyes as moral people, but it makes sense. And that's what's really important for your narrative. It's that it makes sense. You know, maybe one character is a pacifist and they fall in love with a soldier and they have to struggle with that. And it's like, how can I respect this person who goes around killing other people for money? Uh, so that could be a barrier. That could be something they fight about or it could destroy the relationship depending on the needs of your story. But if there are enough other aspects where you find the respect, then you can get over it. You can kind of tolerate their flaws uh, because they have so many other good things, you know. So maybe uh, you're a pacifist, but you're also a Christian and a patriot and uh, you believe in only strong family values. And this person, uh, in, in all those aspects, aligns with you so well, you know, they're religious and they're a patriot um, and maybe at first you think they're a soldier just for money and then you realize they truly believe in the cause for some people that wouldn't matter you're killing people I don't care why you're doing it but for others that would matter the reason behind your action can matter obviously being a, a soldier and a pacifist that can be very extreme it doesn't have to be it could be a vegetarian falls in love with someone who, who eats meat. And then it's like, well, some vegetarians are very militant and some are not. And some people who eat meat, um, you know, don't care about animal rights and environmental rights and their health or their budget or whatever the reasons are that you're a vegetarian. This person might not care. Or they might care, but just not quite enough to give up eating meat or maybe they never thought of, of it before uh, and you can maybe introduce that your character can and say hey have you tried meatless Mondays uh, or have you tried a veggie burger or you know why do you still eat meat or do you know why, how these animals are slaughtered and treated do you know what it does to the environment um, do you understand the government subsidies involved in the meat industry and maybe the other character says, you know, oh yeah, I'm aware of all that and I don't care. I eat meat. You know, that's it. And again, depending on the needs of your story, which always comes first, that could um, destroy their relationship or save uh, their relationship or cause a barrier. Whatever you need to do uh, for your story. But for it to make sense... You need to build uh, off of those lenses, those metrics of uh, attraction and respect, of uh, you know infatuation and uh, admiration. So those are kind of your, your big tools to play with when you're writing romance scenes. Uh, so always keep that in mind. You know why might someone like someone? It's going to be one of those two. Why would there be a barrier? It's going to be one of those two. You might really respect someone, but you're not attracted to them. It happens all the time. And emotionally, there's a foundation for a relationship. Without the physical attraction, uh, it might not be a romantic relationship, though. It might be a platonic relationship. Or maybe that person suddenly has a makeover, or they lose weight, or they gain weight, or whatever it is to transform their appearance. They get a, a tattoo sleeve and you just think, oh wow, like that tattoo sleeve, like just, just makes them cute enough that I kind of want to date them now um, because I kind of wanted to before, but I couldn't get down with their appearance. But now that they're covered in tattoos, it's like, oh yeah, I'm totally into that. Or the opposite where you lose attraction to someone, maybe someone you're in a relationship with, maybe a long-term relation, relationship, pardon me. So, you know, and that could be the tattoos. You get tattoos and your partner's like, oh, tattoos, that's booty. Uh, or, or you gain weight or lose weight. You stop paying attention to your hygiene. You dye your hair. And these can be little things or big things depending on the person and their preferences and the needs of your story. 
So I just wanted to make a quick video um, recapping that since I just recorded a, a video on my writer's vlog about a romance scene that I just wrote and a storyline that I'm writing. Uh, so in the comments below, what do you think makes a good romance uh, in fiction, in, in real life? Because I think they should overlap. Um, and did I miss anything? Is there an aspect that I do not understand about romance? It's possible. I'm single. <laughs> so I'm not, you know, a Don Juan, a relationship guru, or anything in between. Well, thank you, though, for listening. I look forward to your comments. And until I see you again, it's David Daniel Ducker signing off.